Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my May favorites. This year is going by crazy fast. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I don't have that many things, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. Alright, so my first favorite of the month is this right here. This is the NYX um, Away We Glow Liquid Highlighter. Um, I love this stuff. It's actually what I'm wearing today on my face, if you can tell. But um, I like it. It's like a it's an intense glow. Like you can build it up, but it looks really like healthy because it's liquid. And I've never tried a liquid highlighter before on myself, so I really, really like this. Um, especially since I'm dry and it's gonna be getting hot here, hot here soon. So um, my skin's gonna get probably even more dry. So it just kind of like adds moisture back to my skin, but it still makes me look like super like glowy and like a glow from within and stuff so I really like this and this is from NYX um, and it's in Moonbeam and I have like eyeliner on the back of it so it's kind of gross right now but huh, there you go. <laughs> Alright, my next favorites of the month are these Stila eye glitters right here. I have them in Sea Siren and Into the Blue. There's that. These are so pretty. Um, you guys saw these in my haul video when I got these from Sephora. But I'll go ahead and swatch them again for you. So there's Into the Blue is on top and Sea Siren is on the bottom right here. So I just, I love these a lot. And like I kind of mentioned before, I was skeptical about these because I didn't know if they were just being hyped up. Um, because like people were getting paid to talk about them and stuff. But I really like them a lot. Um, they're, they're really good. And like after you get them on your eye and stuff, like they don't budge. It's not like you're going to be rubbing your eye or anything if you have like glitter and stuff on. But I really like them. They are a little bit on the pricey side. They're $24. So... Um, like after tax, they're you know about 20, 26 bucks or something. But yeah, um, they're really good, and I think they are worth it. So definitely an investment. Um, there are some more that I want to try because I think these are limited edition because they were in like the Mermaid collection or something. But um, I'm going to get some more of these. So yeah, let me know if you guys have tried these or if you guys want to try them out or something. But these are really really good, and I definitely recommend. Them. Okay, my next favorites have been these two Mac lipsticks. One of them I have on today. All fired up. I love this shade so much. It's like a watermelon color, um, and it's a matte. I have chapstick underneath it, so it's not completely um, like matte or dry right now. But it's not like it's not really shiny. Like it kind of is, but not, not too shiny. But anyway, <laughs> I love this one. And then the next one is um, flat out fabulous. It's like a little bit more of a berry shade than what I have on right now. So if you can see that one, it's a little bit more like. Fuchsia, I guess. But I love these. I love MAC lipsticks. Um, definitely, if you have not tried them out, they're really, really, really good. I don't I don't think they're hyped up um, at all. Like, they're actually, they're worth it. And I think they're only, like, $16, um, somewhere around that range. So next are these two liquid liners that I want to talk about. This one is the white one from NYX, just a liquid liner, and this is the gold one from Jordana Cosmetics. And I really have been into, like, colored eyeliner and stuff lately. Like, it just kind of adds a little extra something special to your look like if you layer this um i don't know that i would actually just wear these on their own i like doing like my black wing and then the color strip like right on top of it or either below it or something um but it just adds something a little extra or either just put like a little bit on the end i use i do this with the gold i just kind of underline the wing a little bit and it's just like it's cute so yeah i don't wear them as often but i have been reaching for these more um i did get these this month so yeah, but I just I wanted to mention these. Um, and I do have the yellow one from NYX as well. They had like a green one, a blue one, a purple one, and like a pinkish red one. So I think I might pick those ones up as well, but I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if I would really wear those colors as much, so white and gold are good for me, but these are really good. Next favorite of mine is just this little mirrored box I got from Burlington. It has a little flamingo and some pineapples in the back. I just think these are really cute. I have a couple more of these. Um, I have one with flowers on it and then one with this like some like a chevron kind of pattern on it. But I like to put just like random stuff in it to kind of like hide stuff, I guess. So these are my like just eyelashes and um, like extra brushes and stuff. But I like to just have these because it makes it look like a little bit more organized if you have somewhere to put your thing or something to put your things in so I redid my room if you can tell just by my like different setup in this video but I'm gonna be doing a room tour pretty soon here I have like one more thing that I need to do and then it'll be done but um 
yeah, I just, I really, I like them. I think that box was like $4.99 or either $5.99 from Berlin. So yeah, I just think those boxes are really cute and they kind of just add like a touch of personality um, to your room and stuff and it just makes it look a little bit more organized and put together, so. Okay, so the next favorite I have is, you probably were going to guess this, but this is the next to nothing foundation from MAC. I have not worn any other foundation besides this, this whole entire uh, May to now, it's like um, June 5th or something. I have not put this down. So I love this so, so, so much. Um, it is very sheer, so if you like a full coverage, you're not going to like this foundation. Um, it's not really buildable either, but um, it just adds like the most healthy like luminosity to your skin. Um, and what I've been doing, <laughs> surprisingly, is adding the um, L'Oreal Infallible, um, the, what is this, the Total Cover Foundation. I don't like this foundation at all on its own, but I just add like the tiniest amount of this to um, mix with this and it adds, you know, full coverage. But this actually it's, it's okay with this I think because this is so like moisturizing and stuff it kind of makes up for the lack of moisture that this has so I like these in combination I don't use it all the time it's actually it's what I'm wearing today because I wanted a little bit more full coverage but this is an amazing combination but this by itself like if you don't like this foundation maybe try it with this but I definitely think you should try this especially if you're dry this is gonna be my summer foundation so I know I'm gonna have to pick up another bottle because I'm probably already running low on this stuff but it's amazing I love it so so much I think it was only $31 so um, I will try <laughs> to link every single thing that I've talked about in this video everything that has a link like that I can find online I will um, put in the description bar so check this out. next favorite of mine is this scent from Bath and Body Works this is the beach or at the beach scent I love this so 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 much now with Bath and Body Works I love their I have a lot of their sprays and stuff but they don't last that long throughout the day um, and I think I heard from, like, I think it was Nietzsche B's video, like, a while ago, she was talking about how Bath & Body Works has, like, a three-step system where you need to use, like, the lotion and the shower gel and the spray to, um, you know, have the fragrance last all day and stuff, and that definitely is true. So I do have the shower gel and the lotion, um, and this, and I can smell this on me all day, and it's, like, such an amazing, soft just fresh scent. It smells like sunscreen lotion and coconuts, which is like an odd combination, but it just smells really good and just like a beach day. So if you don't like, you know, the beach and stuff, then you probably won't like this scent, but definitely check it out. I did not like it the first time I smelled it, but it's just grown on me and I love this so, 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 so much. And it's just like, it's really pretty too. I love the color and the gold um, the details and stuff on it. So definitely try it out. Um, I did get these on sale. They were like buy two or buy three get two free at Bath and Body Works and they I think their semi-annual sale is going on right now or either it's about to happen um so definitely check that out because these will probably be on sale and I'm sure that it's just a summer scent because it's at the beach so yeah check it out. okay and this right here you can obviously tell this is a favorite of mine this is the Biore baking soda um this face wash I love this so much so I talked about the charcoal one I like that one a lot but this has definitely replaced that for me this it, it seems to be better for dry skin, I think. I think the charcoal is a little bit too harsh on my skin, so this is a lot better. It has the little, like, exfoliating crystals in it, so if you have, like, dry skin and stuff, like, it's going to take off that layer, but it doesn't dry out your skin. My skin doesn't feel tight or anything afterwards. It actually feels quite moisturizing, so, um, yeah, I like it a lot, and um, <laughs> I've used a lot of it. It's almost done, so I need to pick this up again, but I got it from Walmart, and I know Target carries it as well, so definitely try this out. Um, dry skin girls are going to love this stuff. I don't know how it's going to be for oily skin, but um, my I had like a really bad breakout over here somewhere, but it's completely gone because of this. Um, I'm allergic to green tea, and whenever I drink it, I kind of get like, like kind of like, um, I think it's called cystic acne, um, but I get little clusters of just like really big bumps on my face whenever I have anything with green tea. Um, I didn't realize that I drank it. I wouldn't drink it on purpose. But somebody offered me tea and I didn't know it was green tea. Um, but I did get a big cluster of bumps just right there. So um, this definitely cleared it up. So I just, I've been loving this. And I think this is like less than $5. And I'm going to have to stock up on it because you know how when you really like something like the brand decides to discontinue it so I'm gonna have to pick a couple of these ones up before it gets discontinued because I don't know how long this is gonna be but yeah I love this so 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 much definitely try it out. and my last favorites are the Morphe 35 OSNM palettes 
So this is the S, it's all shimmer, so I'm sure you've seen this before. Um, I showed it in my haul video, so this is the shimmer palette, it's all shimmer. And then this is the same palette, but all matte. Um, so I've been loving these, like this is all that I've really been using the past couple but since I bought it, so <laughs> I like this a lot, and I'm also doing a giveaway with this. The giveaway ends on Wednesday, so I'm going to be putting this video up Tuesday, so the giveaway is going to end the next day, so go ahead and sign up for the giveaway. I will have that video in the description bar as well if you are not already, um, I guess, signed up for the giveaway. Um, what was I going to say? And I'm also giving a $50 Ulta gift card away as well, so check that out, please, and, um... Yeah, <laughs> so I have one thing that I kind of want to talk about that is sort of a dislike for me this month, and that is the Next to Nothing powder. Now, I know that it is sheer coverage and stuff, but this literally doesn't do anything for me at all. So if you have this powder and you like it, um, then good for you and stuff, but it doesn't even like mattify my skin, it doesn't smooth out my skin or anything, it literally doesn't do anything, and it kind of has like a pinkish undertone. Like, it's not a good color for me, so I think, um, I don't know if I just need to get a different color or something, but I don't, uh, I don't know, it's not really good. So I don't recommend this powder. If you're going to get something from the the Next to Nothing line, then get the, just get the foundation and skip on the powder. I've been liking the foundation with the mineralized skin finish. I think it looks, like, more natural. This is kind of just, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't like it. It doesn't do anything, so... Um, it's, it was just a waste of money in my opinion. I think it was like 26 bucks, so don't don't waste your money on the powder. Just get the foundation. So that is that for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if there are any um, items that I didn't talk about that you want me to try out that have been your favorites, or let me know if you're going to try out any of the things that I talked about, or if you already have, let me know how you've been liking those. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.